A Jefferson curl is not a good idea for most for long-term health of the spine. First, understand the difference between movement and moment. Flexion movement defines the act of bending the spine forward. Moment describes torque. This happens regardless of whether there's movement or not. So this is predominantly flexion moment, this too, and this has flexion moment and movement. Research has shown that end range flexion movement leads to myoelectric silence, meaning muscle support for shear load is minimized and load is shifted to the disc and ligaments. Now flexion movement by by itself is not a bad thing if loads are kept low. However, the more load is taken into end range spinal flexion and the more frequently it is loaded, injury risk increases. Now some will claim, well the human spine can adapt and while adaptation happens in many tissues of the body, the annulus fibrosis does not adapt as it is relatively avascular. Now don't fear spinal flexion, understand it. A better exercise for enhancing flexion posture capacity would be a stone lift as there is high moment and movement occurs mostly about the hips.